Hi guys, it's Steve here from Family in the Woods YouTube channel. I'm out in the forest again today. It's very cold, minus 23 degrees Celsius. I'm building a simple shelter, just a square shelter that will get you out of the cold, get you out of the weather as quickly as possible. Nothing fancy, but it will definitely keep you a little bit warmer. So I'm going to get to work here and my plan is to spend the night in it. Well, it's snowing now guys. It's minus 19 degrees Celsius and zero degrees Fahrenheit. As long as I keep moving though, it's not too bad. This type of shelter is something you'd want to build if you're in a bit of a hurry, you just want to get out of the bad weather. It's pretty effective in keeping you that much warmer than if you were just in the open air. Well, it's definitely cold out here. It's still snowing. I don't know how much longer the snow is gonna last. As long as I keep moving, I'm okay, but I can definitely feel it in my hands and my feet. If you stop moving, you're gonna freeze up pretty quickly. I'm getting there, gotta keep going. It's hard to speak, my face is pretty frozen.
I'm putting some bark on the roof just to seal it up a little better protect me from the snow and the wind a little more The plan is to put some logs on the other side of the fire and that will act as like a heat reflector. The heat from the fire will reflect off the logs back towards the shelter a little bit. It will also keep some of the wind down as well. There, that should keep some of the heat in. So now I'm gonna take the shovel, I'm gonna throw some snow along the edges and on the sides and the roof, just to seal it up a little better and provide a little more insulation. There, I got some snow thrown on the outside of the shelter to provide a little bit of extra insulation. The snow is uh, really light and fluffy, it's so cold out. So the snow doesn't add a lot of weight, but it does add a bit of insulation. Just setting up my mats here. It's so cold out, they don't even really want to unroll. But uh, they'll still help keep me a, a little bit off the ground, keep me a little bit warmer. There, got my bed all set up, ready for sleeping tonight.
gonna need a lot of firewood, so I have a lot of cutting to do. Time to get the fire going guys and make some supper. So for supper, I'm gonna have some fried white fish in a homemade wrap with some dill sauce that my wife made for me. And then I'm gonna bake some vegetables in some tin foil to go along with it. Looking forward to it, I'm getting hungry. So that's just a mixture of garden vegetables that we grew in our garden with some coconut oil and some spices some potatoes and I'm just gonna wrap it all up in the tin foil and bake it in the fire. to warm up a little bit and melt some snow. Oh, that's good. So as you can see guys, it's still cold out. It's minus 26 degrees Celsius and minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna be a cold night. Well guys, it's late. I'm gonna get some sleep. Hopefully it won't be too cold. I have the fire going. I'll see you in the morning. Morning guys, I made it through the night. It was pretty cold. If I had to do it over, I would definitely use a better sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is not rated for the winter. So I was pretty cold during the night. I didn't get a lot of sleep. But I survived and I did get up to put some wood on the fire. So I kept the fire going, which is nice. The fire's still going for me now. I'm going to make some breakfast here.
simple breakfast, just some banana, some coconut, some cinnamon, coconut oil, Saskatoon berries, and some apple. And I'm just going to put in the coals in the fire, and that will be my simple breakfast. That's delicious. Well guys, it's time for me to pack up. It was a fun night. Cold night, but it was still fun. A good adventure. If you like this video, please subscribe. We sure appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video. See you guys.